Are you feeling unfulfilled in life? Or like, or like your life is just meh or blah? If so, this video is definitely for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt Schmidt and I guide people to heal themselves. In this video, we're going to be talking about why someone might feel unfulfilled. Why are they not? They don't feel content. Why do they don't feel that joy? Um, one of the reasons that a person might not feel this contentment if they're if you're chasing something, looking for that happiness from something outside of yourself. The happiness comes from within. But if you're looking for buying the next thing to make you happy, or whatever it is, something outside of yourself to bring you that joy, to bring you that happiness you're never going to be truly fulfilled. You're never going to feel truly that happiness or feel that happiness truly. Um, while that's pretty well known, we're going to dive into some of the more subtle things <laughs> that have come up recently for me uh, that kind of been repackaged. It's kind of that same thing, looking for something outside of ourselves to bring us that joy, to bring us that happiness. And what we're going to be talking about in this video is this conditional happiness. Um, I talk about this in a lot of my other videos. Before this, I was a big people pleaser. It's always putting everyone else first. And uh, because it made me feel good to make other people happy. I think a lot of people feel this way. The problem with this is my happiness was dependent. It was conditional happiness. Or my happiness was dependent on another person's response. How they reacted, how they perceived it. Um, and... That's always going to fall short. Okay. Um, going through this work, doing this inner work, I've found out that it's not my job to make someone else happy. First of all, I can't even make someone else happy. Uh, that whole idea is ridiculous because some people don't want to be happy. <laughs> and I have no control over that. So I was putting all this energy into um, trying to do these things for other people and not getting back what I was hoping to get back from it. Um, I also thought realized that I was keeping a lot of other people stuck just by doing stuff for them. Or some people didn't want my help. <laughs> and I was overstepping it thinking what I thought they wanted uh, to be happy. So once I pulled that energy back and started shifting that focus to myself, uh, I am able to help a lot more people. I still like, pe uh, I still like doing things for people uh, that cause them to be happy but my happiness is not no longer dependent on their response depending on what they do i'm doing because i want to and it adds to my happiness but i'm not draining myself i'm not um, seeking that clinging to that hoping to get that response from that person if it works out cool if they're happy oh bonus but i'm not dependent on that do you see the difference it's subtle but powerful huge huge shift well, recently, <laughs> this has come up again. It's been repackaged <laughs> in a little bit different way, but it was the same thing. Uh, it's this. It was kind of sneaky, and I just been everything was going great. I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, why do I feel so unfulfilled? Why do I feel meh? <laughs> I have everything that I was working for, everything that I was trying to get to, everything that I thought I wanted. Um, and what really kind of pulled this out is that stuff started to seem like work again. The stuff, the things that I really used to enjoy started to feel like work. And this was kind of subtle. It was kind of gradual how it kind of popped up. And I was like, why do I feel this way? Why do I not feel fulfilled? Um, and I was thinking back to, you know, working with a person. And I'm like, I'm happy because I helped this person heal today. Well, once again, here's this conditional happiness <laughs> attached to this person rather than just being happy to be doing the work that I'm doing. You know, and being happy to be in the moment, um, regardless of their outcome. You know, just being grateful to be my own boss, to be able to give this gift to people, regardless of what they do with it. And I'm like, dang it, how did I get here again? <laughs> I thought I was in a pretty good spot. Um, and I wasn't just being content with just being. Um, being happy to, being content to just be and be able to do that. Um, what What I think happened is I became almost too focused on my goals rather than just being in the moment, just enjoying every moment. And the reason that it came up when it did is because I realized I had pretty quickly got everything that I had been working towards. It happened pretty fast um, with a relationship, with a job, with, with everything. Uh, I got there really, really quickly and 
I was kind of out of goals. <laughs> and just momentarily, you know, uh, at my site set on, set on other things, bigger things. But um, in that moment, I realized that I was still chasing this happiness. And that happiness wasn't coming from within me. It wasn't um, just already there. And if you think you're going to be happy, if you have, have this idea, oh, I'll be happy when, or once I get blank, then I'll be happy. If you're putting conditions like that, you'll never be truly fulfilled. So this allowed me to take a, a, a step back and kind of shift that focus inward and say, well, what, what is going on here? Like, I have everything I've been working towards. Everything is fantastic. What the hell am I doing wrong? Well, and it was, it was because I lost sight of, of the joy of it. I lost sight of the joy in the moment. Um, and not attaching to how it looks one way or the other, just just enjoying being happy in that in that now moment. So for me, it was actually a shifting of not so much doing. I didn't have to achieve anything. It was more shifting to a state of being and uh, letting go of those conditions, letting go of the conditions are all things I put there. Um, but letting go of those conditions of, oh, when I do this, then I'll be happy, or I need to get here to have happiness. No, be happy now. Now is the time to be happy, and you can choose that in every moment. Um, even if something bad happens, you can choose to be how you're going to be, uh, rather than waiting for the next thing to make you happy. Uh, you are responsible for your own happiness, and it's a choice. Are you going to choose to be happy? You have no control over what someone else does, but are you going to let that affect you? And it's important to feel that, go through those experiences. But just don't hang out there. <laughs> All right. Choose happiness now. All right. I hope that some of this, this helps some of you, and we'll see you on the next video.